friends, welcome to Kids Church. Did you know that it is almost Easter? Oh, yes. I get so excited about Easter, Kim, because there's all this fun stuff. There's hot cross buns, there's Easter bunnies, there's chocolate eggs, there's chocolate milk. There's just so much chocolate going around. That's true. Do you know, I've been thinking about hot cross buns and how the little cross on the top, it looks like a plus. Like we're being added back to God. Oh, or like a bridge. Yes, that's what we're talking about today. Jesus is our bridge back to God. Without what Jesus did on the cross, we wouldn't be able to get to God. Wow, good point. I love it. Hey, do you want to check out one of the world's most epic bridges? Have a look at this one, the Golden Gate. Oh, whoa, that's a massive bridge, guys. That is just great. Oh, I've got an idea. You, You do? You sound surprised that I could have an idea, Kim. Ah, anyway, here's my idea. My idea is, what if, what if you and I build our own bridges right here? That could be a cool idea, right? Yes. And they need to be strong enough to hold, you guys ready for this? Hold. To hold a basket full of chocolate. Oh, that's pretty <sighs> strong. All right, the challenge Mm-mm. is on. All right, well, let's see what we can use. The rule is, there's just one rule. You can only use what's around the table. Okay, have. let's have a look at what we've got here. I mean, we've got some wooden blocks. Wooden blocks oh, are great yeah. for bridges. What have you got? I've got some colorful cups. So colorful cups seems nice and sturdy. Oh, These look, I've good. got some Lego. Good. Lego's the best for building, yes. Oh, Domino's blocks. Hey, if you guys think Domino blocks and cups is the way to go, I want you to give me a high five. And, oh. and what about brick blocks and Lego? Mm. I want you to give me a thumbs up. Oh, okay. There's a few. There's a few. Hey, <laughs> we're going to get busy building our bridges. Have a look at this week's shout out of the week. Hi, guys. Check out this new bridge we're going to make. Let's go. How cool was that bridge those kids made? We love seeing what you guys get up to during the week. So make sure you get it on video and send it in to us. What do you guys think about my bridge so far? Do you think our bridges look okay? I think they look pretty good. Do they look pretty strong? Oh, I think they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty much, yeah, they're on there. If you guys think that my bridge will be the sturdiest bridge of the two, then I want you guys to give me a thumbs up. And if you think mine is the strongest, I want you to give me a high five. Oh, all right. Well, there's only one way to find out, as they say. So we're going to put these baskets on here. Three, two. But before we do that, got you guys. You thought we were going to put them on right now. How about we get our praise and worship on first, right? Yes. Jump off your couches, on your feet, get ready like Kim and I, and let's praise God with everything we got. Ready? Woo, let's roll. Come on, lift your hands up. Yeah. 
just your holy face Invade our lives here in this place Your glory fills the atmosphere yes. Your love is relentless, relentless Compelling us to rise So here we surrender I'll be telling you some Easter egg facts. Do you think you can count how many times I say the word egg? Are you ready? Go. Tosca in Italy created the most largest, most exceptional chocolate Easter egg ever, weighing a whopping 7,200 kg. Talk about extra. There is actually an Easter egg museum in Poland that features 1,500 different eggs from all over the world. What an excellent example of dedication. The most expensive non-jewel chocolate Easter egg sold at auction for an extravagant $11,107. Did you kids count how many times I said the word egg? That's right, 10 times. Great job, kids. See you next time. Hey guys, today I'm playing The Floor is Lava. I'm trying to get from this box here to that one over there, but it's a little bit of a far jump. What do you guys think? Do I need a bridge? Now, when sin came into the world, it separated us from God. 
It made this massive gap between us, so big that you can't cross it by yourself. So some people thought, they were like, what if I'm a really good person? I do lots of good things. How about that? Would that bring me closer to God? So they'd, they'd kind of try to get close to God and jump that way, but then they'd fall down. Ouch. Now, that's what happens when we try to do it by ourselves. But God realized, he was like, you guys need someone. We need a perfect person that can help us be the bridge and bring us back closer to God. The Jewish teachers and leaders didn't like the truth that Jesus taught. So they made a plan to arrest him and get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' followers, agreed to betray Jesus for some money. So he led the leaders to where Jesus was praying in the garden. They grabbed Jesus and took him to the rulers of the land so they could decide what to do with him. The people were furious and said that the things that Jesus was saying made him guilty and he deserved to die. Pilate, the Roman ruler of the land, didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. But because he was too afraid to upset the crowd, he said that Jesus could be turned over to the soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spat on. His clothes were torn and taken from him. And a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was hurt so badly that he couldn't even stand. He was then forced to carry the wooden cross so far up a mountain that he couldn't do it on his own. He took the cross to the place of the skull where he was nailed to it and crucified. Once the soldiers had done this, they waited for him to die. At noon, darkness fell over the land. And a whole three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain that separated us from God tore into two. And the soldier who watched on said, this man truly was the son of God. Jesus's body was laid in a stone tomb and the soldiers rolled a large stone over it so no one came in or out. Days passed and it seemed as if there was no hope. Very early on Sunday morning, some woman came to visit Jesus' body and saw that the tomb was empty. He was no longer there. Don't be afraid, said the angel. He is not here. He is risen. For the next 40 days, Jesus showed up to his disciples and many others to show that he was not dead, but very much alive and to tell them that dying on the cross for their sins was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, and anyone who believes in Him will have life forever with Him in heaven. So God was like, you know what? I'll come down, I'll be the bridge that you guys need. So God came down in human flesh and He was like, I'll live the perfect life and be the bridge we all need. So, you know, Jesus was perfect. He didn't lie, He didn't disobey His parents, He lived the perfect life. But after all the good that God did, He was healing people, He was teaching people, He was doing miracles. People still killed Him. and. He was nailed on the cross and it was a very sad day. But God had a plan. So on the third day He rose from the dead. Jesus conquered death so that He could be the bridge making us closer to Him. And maybe you haven't accepted God into your life and you haven't asked Him to live forever with you. And if you'd like to do that, we're going to have a really cool clip at the end inviting you guys to accept Him into your life. The reason why Easter is such a happy day is because God is life. And after three days of lying in the tomb, He rose from the dead. And that is what makes Jesus the bridge connecting us closer to God. Maybe you haven't accepted Jesus into your life and you haven't made that great decision to walk across that bridge and be closer to God. And if you'd like to, we're gonna have a really cool clip at the very end that'll help you invite God into your heart. Be 
Yo ho ho! Let's learn the true meaning of Easter through a song! I was broken in my sin, I didn't know what to do. Worse than losing treasure or a rock inside your shoe. I felt like I was shipwrecked, t'was blind I couldn't see. But Jesus Christ, he paid the price so I could be set free. Upon the cross he gave his life, became the bridge for me. All the bad things in my life, a price I couldn't pay. But Jesus showed me mercy through the cross he made a way. A way back to the Father, to know him as our King. Oh, Jesus Christ, he paid the price so I could be set free. Upon the cross he gave his life, became the bridge for me. Upon the cross our King who died and rose again for me. Hey everyone, I am so excited that it's Easter, woohoo! I've got some friends here today and they are going to help us answer some questions. So why don't you guys say hello? Hi, my name is Isla. Hi, my name's Caleb. Awesome, thanks for coming today guys. So, believe it or not, I've had a letter sent in from a child from home with a bit of a sticky situation. So let's have a read and we'll see what you guys think they could do. Okay, Dear Kids Church, I did something bad. My older sister had some chocolates in her room and when she wasn't looking, I snuck in and ate them all. <gasps> she was really mad, but she doesn't know it was me. I feel like God is mad at me. And if my sister finds out, she will be even more mad. Please help. Sorry, chocolate thief. Oh. That sounds a bit crazy. Have you guys ever done anything that you've regretted doing like that before? Yes. Yeah, we all do wrong things, right? And sometimes we can be like, oh my gosh, what should I do? So do you think when we do wrong things that we can actually ask God for forgiveness? Yes, because Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Wow, that is so cool. So we can actually ask Him for forgiveness. Wow, what do you think, Isla? So if we for ask Him for forgiveness and turn away from those sins, we can be friends with God again. That is so cool. And that's what Easter is all about. I love that. So what do you guys think the chocolate thief should do now that she knows that someone might find out? What, she, what could she do to make it right again? Maybe she could get pocket money or earn it to get a replacement chocolate or even say sorry. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, what do you think, Caleb? I think they should say sorry and ask God for forgiveness. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. So hopefully that's some ideas for you, Chocolate Thief. You can ask God for forgiveness and, and say sorry and even save up some money to buy some more eggs, which would make it right. That's such great advice, guys. So it's Easter Sunday, and we are so excited to be celebrating that Jesus died on the cross for us. So I have to ask you guys, what are you grateful for that Jesus died on the cross for you? I'm thankful for now we can like ask God for His forgiveness so that if we do something wrong, we regret it, we can ask God for forgiveness. Yeah, it's amazing, right? So grateful. What about you, Isla? And He died on the cross, so everything we've ever done wrong is all forgotten and we can be close to God. That is so amazing, eh? Because of Jesus, because of what He did on the cross, we can ask God for forgiveness. It's so amazing. Would you like to pray for everyone at home, Isla, that that would be awesome, that even if they've done wrong things, that they would know they can ask God for forgiveness. So cool. Let's pray together, kids at home. Let's close our eyes and Isla's going to pray with us. Dear Lord Father God, I pray for the kids at home, Lord Jesus, that you can tell them that you are here so they can tell you whatever they've done wrong, Lord Jesus. And you can tell them that you always forgive them, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying and for giving all your amazing advice. They were amazing, right? So we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Wow, I am so grateful that Jesus became our bridge to God. When He died on the cross, He took your punishment. He took my punishment that we deserved. And because of Him, we can ask God for forgiveness. Pretty amazing. So I wonder if there's anything on your heart this morning that you want to ask God for forgiveness for. Maybe you know you get really angry at someone. Maybe you lie sometimes. Or maybe you watch something or read something that you know isn't good. 
The great news about Jesus is that we can ask Him for forgiveness. So as we sing this next song, I want you to lift your hands up and close your eyes. That means you're giving your heart to God, surrendering your life and ask God for forgiveness. Let's sing with all our hearts and be grateful for the amazing gift of Easter, Jesus dying on the cross and becoming our bridge to God. Let's stand up and sing together. Courage of our Saviour On the cross for the hope of mankind Our sin upon His shoulders Giving all so that we could have life What a love never seen That a King would give everything Jesus, Lord of heaven My heart Time is now. I can't wait any longer. It is time to for the real test for our bridges. Let's see who's the strongest. And we're going to put these Easter baskets on. Oh, but first, I think this epic challenge calls for an epic prize. Good point. That's clever. Okay. I tell you what. Get this. Winner takes all. The one whose bridge stands gets to have all these chocolates. Wow, those are pretty high odds. Okay, get let's get these Easter baskets on. Okay. I hope I win. Are you? Can you count down with me, kids? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Yes! What? Woo! I did it! I did it! I won oh. the chocolate eggs. That's for me, and that's what? for me. Hey, oh. kids! I'm so excited that I get to eat all these chocolate eggs. Yeah. Do you guys like Easter eggs? Oh, I like chocolate eggs. And oh. you like the caramel ones? What's your favourite kind of chocolate? I like the ones I've with like... I've got this cream egg here. Who likes cream eggs? I do. I like oh, the cream eggs. And I... I've got a marshmallow one. Do you like marshmallows? I like marshmallow eggs. Do you know what? My favourite kind of chocolate is no, dark please. chocolate. Oh, but these are milk chocolate. What do you think I should do with all these eggs, kids? Well, Kim, I could take those so off your... So what was that, kids? I, I, I could take oh, them, Kim. Oh, what a good idea. Hey, Vickers, mm. the kids at home, 
they yeah. want me to give these to you. To me? Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, guys. Wow. I can't believe it. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, oh, this is going to be the best. Kim, you're just so good. Man, I tell you guys what. Building these bridges were way harder than what I thought they were, right? That's true. And guess who was the best bridge builder of all time? Who? God. We had a really big gap to cross. We needed a bridge. And Easter is all about that strong bridge that connects us back to God. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought Easter was about Jesus. That's right. Jesus is the bridge. Ah, oh, ooh, clever. Hey, now don't forget to send us your shout out of the week videos. We want to see what you've been up to. And keep watching if you want to give your heart to Jesus. Yeah, look guys, and if you think you know one of your friends who likes some chocolate, who likes those chocolatey goodies, make sure you tell them about this and invite them to come watch it and enjoy all the fun with us. Until next time, bye. bye. Congratulations! It is so awesome that you have decided to give your heart to Jesus. The angels in heaven are having a party right now. Woohoo! The Bible says, God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son. Whoever believes in Him won't die, but will have everlasting life. You see, God didn't create us to be like robots obeying His every command. God wanted us to choose to love Him because we want to. But giving us the choice meant that we could also choose not to follow God. The very first people that God made, Adam and Eve, chose to disobey God. When we do wrong things, it's called sin and it separates us from God. We can try and be good enough, try to never do anything wrong. But the truth is, none of us will ever be good enough to be friends with God. But here is the good news. God did a wonderful thing. He sent His only Son, Jesus, to come to earth, to live a perfect life, who never did anything wrong. Then He died on the cross to take our punishment for our sins. Jesus dying on the cross broke down the wall that separated sin, separating us from God. Jesus rose from the dead three days later. And now when we believe in Him and we ask Him to come into our heart, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. So would you like to give your heart to Jesus right now? We can pray a simple prayer together, inviting God into your heart. Let's repeat these words together. Close your eyes with me. Dear God, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. Please come into my heart and forgive me. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross and rising from the dead. Amen. That is so awesome that you have given your heart to Jesus. Woohoo! There are some more things that you can do to get to know God better now that He's your best friend. The first one is to pray. Praying is just talking to God. You can't see God, but He hears every word that you say to Him. You could pray to Him when you're scared, or you could thank Him for how much He loves you. God wants you to talk to Him about everything. The second thing that you can do is to go to a church. You could join us here online every Sunday. Or maybe there's a great church close to you. You could ask your mum and dad to take you there. When you're at church, you get to hear more about God and learn more about Him. The third thing that you can do is to tell others about Jesus. God's gift of Jesus is so wonderful, but it's not just for you. God wants everyone to know Him. So why don't you tell your friends at school, your brothers and sisters, and your parents how much God loves them. The fourth and final way to get to know God better is to read your Bible. Did you know God wrote a book telling all about how much He loves you and His great plans for the world? We would love to send you a Bible on us. So email us at kids at cityimpactchurch.com and we would love to send you a Bible. Or tell us that you gave your heart to Jesus. 
Remember, the more time you spend with God, the more you become like Him, and the more you'll discover the amazing plans that He has for you. We'd love to hear from you, and we are so excited for you.